Following British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt's show of support for the protesters in Hong Kong, Boris Johnson, Hunt's rival to be Britain's next Prime Minister, has also thrown his support behind the pro-democracy demonstrators. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Hong Yu. So tell us more about what Boris Johnson had to say. Like you said, Boris Johnson, the former London mayor and frontrunner in the Tory leadership election, and therefore favorite to become the next UK prime minister, said he supported the Hong Kong protesters. In an interview with Reuters Wednesday, he said he understands why they're skeptical about the controversial extradition bill that the protesters are fighting to completely scrap. I think that uh, the people of Hong Kong are perfectly within their rights to uh, be very skeptical, very anxious about proposals for extradition to, to the mainland that could be politically motivated, that could be arbitrary and could infringe their, their human rights. And so, yes, I do support them and uh, I will happily s speak up for them and, uh, and back them every inch of the way. And I, and I was stressed to uh, our friends in, in Beijing that the one country, two systems approach has worked, uh, is working and, and, sh and should, not be, uh, should not be cast aside. Amid the escalating spat over Hong Kong that Britain handed over to China in 1997, Beijing has told the UK to keep its hands off the island. On Wednesday, China's foreign ministry said it lodged a diplomatic complaint with London, denouncing Hunt as shameless for his warning of consequences if Beijing breached the Sino-British declaration. The growing war of words follows a weeks-long protest over the controversial extradition bill. Marking the 22nd anniversary of Hong Kong's handover from Britain to China, protesters stormed Hong Kong's Legislative Council building on Monday, vandalizing walls and hanging the old British colonial flag before they were dispersed by riot police. Hong Kong police announced Wednesday that they have arrested 12 people involved in the incident for offenses, such as the possession of offensive weapons and unlawful assembly.